happening. So this is a new video we are recording on it for uh, the different the topic. Anyway, I, I I understand that for the breakdown we cannot discuss today because uh, there is no time. So we will discuss the availability check, right? Availability check. What is meant by availability check? So the name itself is saying you are checking the availability. What availability we are checking? We are checking the availability of stock items. Correct? Stock items means let's say there are uh, multiple components in that particular maintenance order. And before releasing the order, you are checking the stock. You are checking the stock. Automatically, system will check the stock. No need to go manually and check the stock. System automatically checks the stock. Okay. So that is one kind of availability check. Second is capacity availability check. Means capacity availability check means does that at that particular date and that particular time does that work center have that available capacity or the resource whoever is performing that has a capacity to do that particular operation or not. So even that that can be checked. Okay, that can be checked in the availability check concept. So how to configure this availability check? Okay. How to configure this availability check for a maintenance order? So for that, first of all, wait one second, let me open SAP. Okay, let me let me open SAP. I'll show you one example. I'll show you one example. Okay, so IW31, I'm going to IW31. PM01, high functional location, equipment I'm giving, plant AMR1, right? So I'm giving just normal operation and all. Okay, one second. Yeah, I'm giving the normal operation. Go to the operations, replace oil filter. Our main thing is to enter the components. So I have entered three components. So what are the three components? Two, two, I'm entering two, six, each, each, each. All are stock items. So L, okay, L, L, L. To the location is thousand, thousand, thousand. Plant AMR1, AMR1, AMR1. Click on enter. Okay. Now I have entered. I am not checking. I am even. I don't know whether the components are there or not. I don't know. But I am telling the system to check whether the components are there or not. Okay. So come to the header data. Uh, go to the operations. I am not giving any percent duration at all. So that is not the major focus for now. Right. So just click on enter. Save this order. Okay. Order got saved. Now go to the change mode. Whenever you are trying to release the order, very important. Huh? Whenever you are trying to, what is the message? I think. Yeah, yeah. recording is. Yeah, recording is going, so don't worry. Okay. So, whenever you are trying to release this order, see what it's shown. Error during availability check. What error? Wait, wait, one second. Eh? Oh, PM01, right? One second. It should not. Uh, order functions. Availability. Availability error during C log. Log. All check materials are available, material available. Okay, I think I have used a different material. Huh? One second, one second. Just a second, I need to check the material availability. 
uh, okay it is there zero one is there mrp3 zero one is there impeller for pump yeah so this is wrong i shouldn't have used this availability check for impeller pump one second let me change this knowledge right. slash n slash o mm zero two Five nine six AMR one. I'll tell you what I'm trying to do now. Okay, so MRP three uh, giving available check as zero one. Save this. Fine. Uh, save this. Okay, now go back to SAP. Come back. Next, go come back. You don't want to enter the state data, state data, no. Next, go here. Now click on, see. When I click on release, what it is saying, what system is prompting? Non-availability of material. There is one material which is non -available, not available, but system is asking me to release the order or to check for the missing part list. So if I go to the check for the missing part list, system is saying that these two materials are missing. Okay, these two metals are missing. Okay, so system is asking me whether you want to release the order or not. It is asking the decision, it is giving that particular uh, decision to the user, whoever is releasing that particular operation uh, order. He was, it was asking the user to release or not. If he go on release, right, if he go on release, the order will get released. If he don't want to release, see, I will go back, I am not saving this. So again, go here, click on flag. If you don't want to release, you will straight away click on cancel, which means that until or unless if you don't have all the components in our plant, in our for that in our plant to execute that order, we are not releasing that order. Or else, if he wants to release, he can release. So even that decision you can control uh, based on that availability check. Okay. How 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 you can do that configuration for the availability check that we need to uh, see. So where where is that uh, configuration? Go to SPRO, Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Maintenance and Service Processing. Okay, Maintenance and Service Orders. Right here. Uh, go to General Data. Uh, not general data functions and settings for order types okay see availability check for material prts and capacities here we need to come okay so i'll uh, take the screenshot i'll enter in this excel sheet okay what is the t code t code is First, under the first one, define checking rules. In this checking rule, we need to use this checking rule PM. That will be comes as a standard only. So no need to worry on that. Okay. So you will use the checking rule PM. Right? That I will paste here. After that, what is the next next node? Scope of check. Okay, this is very important. Scope of check. Under scope of check. You will check for daily requirement. Availability check is 01. Okay, availability check is 01. You check for PM. Okay, this also is the standard uh, configuration. So, no need to worry on this. Okay, so what is the T code? What is the T code for this scope of check? What is the T code? O O O P J J. Okay, OPJJ is the OPJJ is the T code for performing scope of check. After that, after doing the scope of check, what is the next step? What is the next configuration we need to do? Go to OIOA. Okay. Uh, no, no, not OIOA. One second. Eh? Even I forgot. Uh, OIP, OP, seven, Pacha, OPC for location. OPJK, yeah. Wait, let's check for OP. 
Okay. Yeah. So next, go to the T code. I don't remember the path huh? because I will be using this very frequently in my uh, real time uh, office work also. So I don't frankly remember the path. You guys find out uh, what? Find out the path. You, if you check in Google also, it will come. So that is the task I am giving. Okay, OPJK. In OPJK, what we need to do? In OPJK, go for the plant AMR1. My order type is what? I am assigning for PM01 order type for now. In PM01, I have maintained two line items. One is for one, one is for two. What is one? If you take double click on this, I am saying that even when I am creating a maintenance order with order type PM01, uh, do I want to check? Do I want to check that particular whether available uh, components are available or not? Okay. So in that case, I am saying no, I am not going to check when I am creating an order because no one wants to check the material when they are creating an order. They want to only check that material availability when they are actually releasing that order. Okay. So that is the reason I'm not, I don't want to check the material. So no check when I'm saving the order. That's fine. But if you check for the next business control, that is PM02. If you see here, see. My checking rule is PM, which we, we saw in the checking rule configuration. Next, I'm, I want to check the material when saving the order, right? And release material this see i am for now i am giving the one here what is one here user decides on release of parts if it is a, if it are missing okay user decides if i change this to 3 i will show you what happens if we change this to 3 but for now let's take this uh, configuration screenshot okay enter put it here right now what i will do I will change this to 3, okay. Simply I will change this to 3 and I will show you what will happen. Uh, we have already the configuration, no? OPJK. So I am entering that in the OPJK setting. Okay. Along with this, what is the next configuration we need to do? Whatever the components are there for that maintenance order, right? You must go to the MRP three tab okay very very important you must go to the mrp3 tab and as a uh, give the availability check as zero one if you don't give this system will throw error that maintain the proper availability check in the material okay so this comes as a basic master data setup so you don't need to worry but if you are testing and all then uh, you must ensure that this is ticked this is maintained okay now what we will do we will go for a, another order creation iw31 pm01 hi simple i am giving the all these things right again the same uh, operation go to the components right now enter this materials i need a 10 i need this also 10 i need this also 10 okay each 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 L, 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 thousand, 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 AMR1, AMR1, correct? Now click on enter. Okay, fine. So I am saving the order now. So as per the configuration, the system will allow to save the order because we are not checking any metal availability under. But if you release now, see why? Why order is not successful? Order release is not successful. If you see log, if you see the release log, you will find see all the metals are shortage. So how this, how uh, we have configured this? Because here we saw we said that you should not release the order if the parts are missing. Okay, you should not release the order if the parts are missing. Let's say if I change this to user decides. We are giving that uh, authorization to the user. If he wants to release, he can release. So now, go back. 
okay go back go back don't save again go to the change mode now click on release see now it is prompting it is prompting it is asking the user do you want to release or do you want to check the missing part list so i want to check the missing part list so all this are space are this much quantity is not there in our plant only how much is there oil filter is only there four is there that's it rest of the things are not there but still but still uh, if user wants to release the order yes he can go on release there is no nothing stopping him that setting is based on this this particular configuration okay this particular configuration so that is how even in the real time we will uh, perform the availability check so we will tell the client before itself that so there are two or three options uh, which where you can do that uh, release one is user decides whether he wants to release or not or uh, else system itself release even though there are missing parts third step is system will not release if there are missing parts so these three settings you will explain to the client and based on that he will tell okay okay then uh, we will uh, give the authorization to user only we will uh, give that uh, approval if he wants to release let him release or else some uh, some clients will say that no 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 we should not give the, the authorization to user if there are no parts straight away don't release the order then we will set the status uh, setting to 3 so like this uh, we will do that configuration control and all and that affects the orders so that it depends that we need to assign for each order type huh? so for now we have only assigned for uh, pm01 uh, we will also assign entire things for pm02 also right pm02 also and we will also do it for pm all this for pm 0 2 3 we will do for and all we want to if you want you can do okay but for uh, for testing purpose for demo purpose we have entered for pm 0 1 right okay uh, yeah pm 0 3 also we entered uh, fine no problem yeah so this is how we will uh, do that control in opjk okay very very important uh, functionality okay availability check right so i hope uh, you guys you got it you understood what is meant by availability check and how that impacts the order right